Hi Collaborate Elaborate, so something that Dominic didn't touch on yesterday was that we're having a heat wave right now in England, it's like the 1st of October, but like, it's a glorious day, it's like, like yesterday I thought it was like the beginning of June, like honestly, like, it must have been like 25 degrees at work yesterday, I, I've been working at work for like two and a half months now and I, I, it's not been that hot, like ever, since I've ever worked there. Anyway, so Dominic wanted to talk about going out, see, because I have a bit of a strange relationship with going out. I haven't been out into Derby in a long time because I just don't really enjoy it. I don't really like the thought of having to pay for stuff to drink, which I don't want to drink because I don't like the taste. And also the fact of getting drunk and potentially getting hurt or killed in some way because, I don't know, I run out in front of a car or someone attacks me or, I don't know, like, it sounds really stupid, but that's the... Derby's not a rough place particularly, but still, on nights out, if people get drunk, they get rowdy and they beat people up and stuff, and I'm always very aware of my pockets and stuff when I go out, I'm always very aware of, like, making sure I have my wallet and my keys and stuff on me and my phone, um, so really for me, like, the experience just isn't a safe experience, I don't enjoy it, I don't feel secure, uh, and so I much prefer, like, house parties and stuff if you're around someone's house, because you are in an environment where you are safe and you know your friends and you're with people you enjoy whereas if you're going out on a night out there'll be people there which maybe you didn't want to bump into or you just don't enjoy their company or you meet some people sometimes you meet people and they're really nice and they're awesome and that's cool you make new friends but sometimes you meet nasty people and it's just kinda like I don't want I don't want to meet nasty people I don't want to meet people that are gonna try and do things to me. This story is a bit interesting. Uh, the other night after my church small group, I went out. There was some guys I met there uh, called Simon and Matt, and they were really cool. There was another guy called Louis as well, who's a really big car fanatic, like old cars and stuff. So after church, um, he was like, hey, Charlie, um, do you want to go out like for a drink? And I was like, okay. Like, I guess I was a bit edgy at first. Like, I don't really want to go out for beer and stuff. We went to this little bar, like, just in the middle of nowhere in Derby, and I'd never been there before, and the, Matt was like, oh, you're going to love this, you're going to really like this, I think you really dig it. It's really relaxed, really chill, and I just think you'll like it. And I was like, okay, what kind of place are we going to? And so we got there, and this place doesn't serve any alcohol at all. It just serves milkshakes and cake. <laughs> but I was just like, this is amazing. And so in the end, I had like an Oreo milkshake, which was really, really nice. Uh, I had like whipped cream and stuff on it, it was really good. And there were these huge, like, it was kind of half outside, half inside. There was, like, a, a roof over the top, but it was outside. And we were sat on these huge, comfy leather sofas. Um, and, uh, I mean, the place did, like, have shisha pipes and stuff. I don't know if you guys have shisha. I think it's, like, a flavoured tobacco, from what I know. But I, I don't smoke it. I, I knew friends that used to smoke it in London, because there was a shisha bar across from my uni. But I don't smoke shisha. Being a singer, I don't, like having stuff in my lungs which shouldn't be there so I stayed away from that even though they offered it to me I was like nah I'm, I'm really cool I'll stick with my milkshake thanks I'm really happy that I went out on a night out that didn't involve beer and getting lashed so yeah that's my experience of going out so I'll talk to you guys all next week also as Dominic said I'm doing stick A tonight it'll be between the hours of 2am and 7am sometime there I'll probably be on I'll probably do the challenge as well like I did last year it's gonna be really exciting I'm watching the show this afternoon and it looks amazing and the set looks amazing and I'm really excited to get there so uh, I'll see you all later bye bye